This is the most painful story I have ever heard. Please take your time and listen to it. Stolen Affair Part 1 Mimi ataka cheza game kwa simu ya mami, said my four-year-old son Keegan. It was on a Saturday afternoon. The weather outside was great. The kind of weather that makes you want to stay indoors and do nothing but drink porridge and eat boiled maize plus make babies. I was seated on my favorite seat reading the daily newspaper. It was around election period and I was engrossed on what I was reading that I didn't respond or look my son's way when he said that. He said again and I told him to wait for his mom to come back so he could play the game on his phone but he shook his head and then walked off of his sitting place. His mom, my wife, had left the house to see a friend off a few minutes back. I turned back to my paper praying that Keegan wouldn't throw any tantrums. About five minutes passed and when he didn't walk back into the living room, I put my paper down and left to find him. The one thing that I have learned so far as a parent is that when the little ones go quiet, 99% of the time, they are always up to some mischief. My first stop was in his room. The moment I walked in, my heart almost stopped beating. In his hand was a brand new Samsung S7 Edge. I was taken aback because I had never seen that phone in my house. My wife and I both had iPhone and our nanny who wasn't a stay-at-home nanny had a totally different model. For a minute, I thought that maybe my wife had planned to surprise me with it on our ninth wedding anniversary, which was around the corner, but that opinion soon changed. I sat my son on my lap and gently took the phone from him. The first place I went to was the WhatsApp messages, which I found empty. My next stop was on the call logs, which I again found blank. There was not a single number saved on the phone. I went to FB, Facebook, Messenger, emails and found nothing. At this point, Keegan was starting to get impatient with me wanting the phone back so he could carry on with his game. I was almost giving it back to him when a thought crossed my mind on hacking the WhatsApp messages and I went with it without thinking twice. I got my phone and within seconds, I had hacked the WhatsApp messages. I knew my wife was bound to walk in at any time and so I asked Keegan to put the phone back where he had taken it from so I could give him mine to play with and he jumped at the offer. He took the Samsung and went to a big brown teddy bear who was in the corner of his room and zipped it and then put the phone there. If I am to describe how stunned I was at all that I'd probably never finish writing this story. I picked him up and took him back to the living room. A thousand and one questions racing through my mind. About two minutes later, before I could even put my thoughts together, my wife walked back into the house. I tried acting, I tried acting like all was normal, but that was so hard with the with a million questions running through my mind. Whose phone was it? Was it a present for me for our wedding anniversary? If so, why did it already have a SIM card? Under whose name was it registered and what people was it used to call? Was there a possibility that my wife Lynette was cheating on me? No, that wasn't possible. How? For what? We had the perfect marriage our sex life was over the roof and we were doing great financially. We lived in our own house in Nairobi that we had bought from one of the top real estate companies and we were at that time building a four bedroom house back in the village. We loved each other so much and were the envy of most of our peers. 
whose marriages had fallen apart and we were faithful to each other.